they're like, I don't know where to put it because the discovery is so bad, you know, on the platform. No yeah. one's going to find it. And it seems like you were like, no, I'm going to go find an audience. <laughs> I, you have, you, you, you I got my to. database. It's a different approach. And it was so much easier then. Now, yeah. now you're, you're going up against, you know, the 30 something games that release on Steam every day. Yeah. It's like, it's, I feel terrible when somebody says, um, I've been working on this game and it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful game right you know it's not it's not going to win any awards it, it's a very pretty game it's a functional game they've been working on it for three years they're releasing it on steam and then it sells you know a couple hundred copies and then that's it and they they like why and it's like well did any did anyone ever know that this isn't going to come out like you you do know you have a pretty good idea going leading up into a release how well something is going to do if it's going to do terrible if it's going to because you'll know by how many people care about it before it comes out um, and I mean, that's kind of where we're at right now. Like, so I, I do this, I've, I've, I've released a game with nothing. I, I released, um, the end is nigh with no press. I just dropped it. I dropped it and, it and it came out. It did not do well and it did not, well, it did. Okay. Um, it did not sell that well. And I think a lot of that was because of my inability at the time to talk about the project to push the project, to excite people about the project, to do conventions, to demo it for the press. I didn't do any of that. I didn't even show videos of it. It was just a trailer and it was out. Um, I Part of me wanted to just see how that would work. I had a feeling it wouldn't work uh, that well. <laughs> um, but I'm in the process now of a similar situation where I'm working on Mugenix. And Mugenix is my biggest project that I've ever worked on. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been working on it for for it's hard to say because i started it so long ago and then stopped working on it but um i would say i'm working on it part-time for almost three years and then there's another at least another year year and a half of development so it'll be my biggest longest project um and we're getting to a point where once that year mark hits i'm going to start hitting press i'm going to start pushing you know blog updates like i have this whole plan of attack just like i have designed for the game mm. i have this whole plan of attack of like there's this blog there's my twitter these are the updates that i'm going to do these i'm going to introduce all the people that are working on it i'm going to show gameplay and at this point i'm going to start showing videos and at this point i'm going to start streaming it at this point i'm going to start getting this streamer to play it i'm going to start emailing all the press i'm going to there's this new feature on steam which is like a remote play feature where you can actually demo your game for anyone you just get them what? an invite to it you can demo the game well i'm going to be doing that i'm going to be <laughs> doing that as much as possible wait so it's like, it's like a, is it like a live twitch stream like walk take me take me a step in it's like oh a no it's it's a it's the remote play feature in you could essentially start up your game and as long as somebody's on your friends list, you could invite them to the game and they take control over your computer or your Oh, your like mouse. say wait, someone could like a, like a like an IT person taking over your computer, but for uh, playing the game. Sure, in a way. But people you, you people usually utilize it. Like we have it in, in effect for the binding of Isaac because you can play multiplayer with people over the internet um, oh, okay. in the same way because you essentially they just take over the second controller on your computer, but through them. And so, there's like, there's basically no delay. And with eugenics, it's turn-based, so it doesn't really matter either way. But so, yeah, so I have, so all, wait, I have year all this countdown. stuff planned out. Yeah? A year countdown to your game, a year countdown. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and you would shrink that down depending on how big the project is, right? Sure. So like, if you're working on something for three months, then yeah. for the last week or two, you're going to be push and press and you're going to be, you know, you're probably going to be talking about it the whole time if people care, right? Mm. But, you know, there's also like, well, how do you make people care? Well, I make people care by showing them what, how much I care, mm. you know, about what I'm working on. And I'm honest about that. Um, even about the stuff that's hard. Like if I want to bitch about it and be like, Oh, this is fucking grueling. You know, I, I'm, you know, I put myself out there and I just say, you know, this is, this is what's going on. And here's an update. Um, <clears throat> I think putting that out there is, is important showing, showing little clips on Twitter or whatever your, your, your choice of, uh, um, you know, social media to get to whoever cares. Um, but it may take a few games. It may take many games. It may take many games for enough enough people to care to matter. 